coming down onto our last page, but I'm going to come back to that in a second. I want to run you over the structure of page three first. So, page three. That was one time through that, and that was two bars long. We're going to do that four times. So, first time. Second time. Third. Up to ten, nine, seven, five. Twelve, ten, nine, ten now. Now fourteen, twelve, fourteen, twelve. Now, um, just to reiterate, I, I made a very, very basic error. Um, the first riff is the only one that's palm muted. The rest of them absolutely are not palm muted. So the first one, as soon as you come up to the 10, 9, 7, 5, 10, 9, uh, 12, 10, 9, 10, and the 12s and the 14s, none of that is palm muted, so please don't do that. Last page now, um, and we're 13 minutes into this lesson, let's keep going. Last page, we're going to go into our intro again. Now we're going to do a solo here at this point. This is an improvised solo for like eight bars. Um, it's over A minor, so I'm going to teach you the scale really briefly and then give you some good pointers for your improvised solo. So the scale to start with, I would just use a pentatonic scale here. A minor blues uh, would sound pretty good, so 5 and 8 on the thickest string. Then 5, 7, 5, 7, 5, 7 on the next three strings. And then 5, 8 and 5, 8 on the last two strings. Now, um, you've just ended here, you know? Um, I personally like end starting a solo like this where you've only got eight bars with a nice big bend, something that hits really hard. You could double bend five. So that's the G and the B string. Then I'm coming down to seven on the D after that. So it's just double five, G and B, but I'm using first finger and pulling it down. And then landing on the D on the seventh fret. It kind of sounds like the Ghostbusters theme, to be honest. And that would be four bars done really, really, uh, really, really quickly. Um, other than that, Big scale runs can work really well. What I done there was started it on the A string and went down eight notes. Then I started on the D string and went down eight notes or up eight notes really. And that's another like two bars done so. And then you might want to hit a nice big high note after that. And that would be the end of that solo. So um, I'm just going to give you some quick, brief tips for this improvised solo. Scale runs. A couple of big bends and small, short ideas and repeated. Please repeat an idea in your solo. Do not play a mess of a solo that doesn't repeat a single idea the whole time. That would be a shame. You've seen me play this idea eight times. Well, technically six, but it sounds good if you repeat things in solos, so please do that. After your solo is done, um, oh, one more tip on the solo. Please write it down. 
flip your chart over, tab it out, write down your ideas, make sure they fit inside the improvised section. It's got to be eight bars long. Um, I'll play you a little thing just now, which is the, the backing for it, so you can practice over it. Um, I'll start it right now. At that point, we're doing our outro, which is uh, five, seven, nine, ten on our octaves. And then we're going to be coming down to our sort of bluesy thing that we, we learned on page three. Okay, so um, we do twice round our bluesy thing. No palm muting this time. Then we go 10, 9, 7, 5. And now we play 0 on the A string and 7 on the D. And we're really, really punching those notes because that's the end of the song. Um, good luck with this one. I think it's a terrific tune. There's lots of different things in it. Um, lots of different ways to show off your abilities, which is what you're looking for in a song. You're looking to show off. You're looking to play really well. Some final thoughts. Um, getting back to this chord after... <laughs> Getting to that chord after this section can be really, really difficult. I would really practice that. Um, if you don't get there on time, just kind of keep trying to get there. Um, don't fall out. Just try get back in the song if you do make a mistake. For your solo, please write it down. It'll really help you. Okay, I hope this was useful and helpful. Um, come and talk to me on Teams or in Lessons if you're still having any problems. Bye.